All right, Chris, for uh, posterity or posterior, however you want it, I'll explain my display as quickly as I can. This is a facsimile of uh, the rifle thought to have been carried by the Lewis and Clark expedition. Captain Lewis went to Harper's Ferry Armory and had 15 of these rifles fitted for him. The rifle is thought to have been the U.S. model 1892 militia rifle, which had been crushed out and fitted with new locks with an extra lock for each rifle. And these were the uh, heaviest firepower of his expedition. Okay. Which one? Second rifle is the rifle that was previously thought to have been designed by Captain Lewis for use of uh, his Corps of Discovery, but was later on determined uh, not to have been. And this is with the Lewis and Clark is, Expedition? Uh, the, the one used by the Lewis and Clark Expedition, okay. as per the most recent thinking, is the uh, 1892 militia rifle. The 1803 uh, Harper's Ferry rifle was uh, later used in the uh, War of 1812. Okay. The uh, musket here is a replica of uh, an 1863 Charleville, which was uh, substantially identical to our 1795 musket as manufactured by Springfield Armory. Uh, this is and 1763. That's correct. Okay. Right. And that uh, rifle was, uh, or that musket was uh, used as general issue. Look at that bayonet there at the end. All right, that's uh, that's thought to have been a, an original American bayonet on a, a replica musket. Okay. The uh, bottom musket is uh, a replica of a brown bess, and these were in store at Harper's Ferry uh, Armory at the time and were thought to have been taken to, to use as trade items with the Native Americans. Okay. This is amazing. Now the, uh, the knives shown are typical of uh, the knives that uh, were used by frontiersmen in that particular period. Okay. Including the ones down here? That's correct. This is probably 1799. Now let's go on with the pistols. And the handguns are just basically representative of the handguns that would have been available at the time of uh, the expedition. Not necessarily that these were the ones carried, but these were the ones that were available at that time. The first one is a, an English Dragoon uh, Flint pistol. Second is uh, a replica of a Charleville Flint pistol. The third is a replica of a Harper's Ferry 1805 pistol. It's amazing. The fourth is a uh, bronze frame Scottish Highland pistol. 56 caliber, I see. Black Watch. Those were documented as carried by the uh, Black Watch Regiment during the Rev War. And, and what's this uh, one? That Bissell is a replica of uh, another Royal Highland uh, Regiment pistol, also used by uh, Sp Scottish uh, regiments. Amazing. This is all with Lewis and Clark. And the the last one is uh, representative of uh, an English uh, dragoon pistol, probably more for the Napoleonic era. But uh, it just shows you. And that one's a, an authentic one. Oh, this is real. That's a, a for real. As you can tell, I ain't bolted down real tight. 
that's why most of my stuff is replica. Oh, okay. All right. Anything else? I right, thank you, sir. Thank you. If you're not recording now, I say watch out for stars, you'll rot your mind.